Hi, I'm Gary Foster, and this is 5 O'Clock from the Fosters. Tonight, I'm going to make you a long-forgotten cocktail called the Jack Rose. There are six classic cocktails. The six classic cocktails are Martini, Manhattan, Old Fashioned, Daiquiri, Sidecar, and the Jack Rose. But many people have forgotten about the Jack Rose. It's the perfect cocktail for fall weather. It's the perfect cocktail for this time of year. It's got hints of apple and lime and grenadine to it. So tonight, I'm going to show you how to make it. Now, you want to start with a, a full lime. It uses a lot of lime juice. It uses about an ounce of lime juice or one full lime. Again, I highly recommend using freshly squeezed limes. A properly made Jack Rose is going to be on the tart side. It's not going to be overly sweet. However, you can feel free to play around with the ratios to make it a little sweeter if you like, or to bring out a little bit more of the apple flavor if you like. So, we have about one ounce of lime juice. Now what we're going to use is grenadine. Now a lot of people think this is grenadine, rose is grenadine. You go to the grocery store, you buy this stuff. But if you look carefully at the ingredients on it, it's the very first ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. And then it's got water and citric acid and a bunch of preservatives, some artificial colors, some artificial flavors. Not one single iota of pomegranate juice, which pomegranate syrup is what grenadine is. So I make my own grenadine. It's not hard. If you know how to make simple syrup, you know how to make grenadine. You simply take equal parts of pomegranate juice and sugar, dissolve the sugar in the pomegranate juice, and you have basic grenadine. You can add a little bit of this or a little bit of that, and a lot of the recipes you'll find on the internet call for maybe a few drops of orange blossom water or pomegranate molasses. You can put those in, it'll make the flavor a little bit more rich, a little deeper, but you really don't need it. All you really need is equal parts of pomegranate juice, and I buy the palm pomegranate juice from the grocery store. I warm it up just a little bit so the sugar will dissolve in it more easily, and equal parts sugar, and your own grenadine. Uh, pro tip, you can actually put just a tiny little bit of vodka in it after you make it. You can also do the same with your simple syrup, and that'll preserve it, uh, keep it from spoiling. Keep it in the refrigerator and it'll last for months. So we've got one ounce of lime juice in here. I'm going to add one half ounce of grenadine. And these ratios that I'll give you are the classic ratios. Uh, feel free to play around with them a little bit if you like it a little bit more on the sweet side or if you want to change the flavor a little bit. And then we're going to use a really interesting American whiskey called Applejack. Uh, you can also use Calvados. Um, Calvados has a slightly different flavor. Applejack is apple brandy, basically, and it's made by America's oldest family-run distilleries. There's only one brand of it that I know of. It's the Laird's Applejack. It's very inexpensive, and it is delicious stuff. So we're going to add two ounces of Applejack. So that was one ounce of lime juice, two ounces of Applejack, and a half ounce of grenadine. Grab our ice. Fill up our cocktail shaker as usual, about two thirds full. Give it a good shake. Now something else you can use instead of the lime juice is you can use lemon juice. A lot of the classic recipes are called for lemon juice. It's a different flavor. I like them both. I tend to prefer the lime juice, but then again I tend to prefer limes over lemons for most, most things. I encourage you to try both, see which one you like better. Uh, a lot of people like the lemon, a lot more people like the lime. Well chilled cocktail glass. It comes out a beautiful, beautiful rose color. And it will be on the tart side with the classic ratios. No garnish. The traditional way to serve it is just like this. If you want to be all fancy, you can take a slice of like a, a thin slice of a Granny Smith apple and float in there. But quite honestly, this is how they are. To your health.